Good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to Wednesday morning prayer. And I do apologize for missing uh, prayers last evening. I guess I've spent most of yesterday in bed recovering from flu, but it's good to be with you, good to be with you. So we begin this morning by lighting a candle for each and every one of us gathered here so let us just be still for a moment as we come into the presence of God, a God of love, a God of peace, and a God of joy. And lovely to welcome our dear sister Sue and Paul, um, Jan. Good to see you. Feeling a little better, but still feeling rough around the edges. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> So we light this light as we come into the presence of God and we say, Father, Mother God, we come into your presence with an open heart and we ask you to bless our hearts today with your peace, with your love. Amen. So let us just be still. Be still in the presence of God. and just relax for a moment. Relax and know that we are loved. Be still. <clears throat> and let us just focus on our in-breath as we come together and remember all the children of God today who are struggling. Who are struggling in mind, in body and spirit. Let us be still. And now we ring our Tibetan bells for peace. <coughs> Excuse me. And we say together the Wednesday morning prologue of our brother and sister Essenes of Mount Sinai, we enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the heavenly Father, Mother God, the earthly mother and all the great masters and reverence to the holy, pure and saving teaching and reverence to the brotherhood and sisterhood of the elect. Wednesday morning, we commune with the angel of the sun, saying, Angel of the sun, enter my solar center and give the fire of life to my entire body. And as you say this, you contemplate the rising sun and experience the accumulated solar energies radiating through your solar center located at the solar plexus, sending healing, life force energy through your entire body. And I want to welcome our dear sister Sandra and Grace who've joined us on Facebook. And apologies, dear friends, for the intermission. We're having some pretty horrendous weather here in Cumbria. And there's no sun, it's dull, it's raining heavily, and the poor hens and the doves are wet through. So we've had a few problems going live with live stream and Facebook. So I'm glad we got through in the end. So let us just come as beloveds. And we thank the Lord God for your gift of presence here. We thank the Lord God for your love and your commitment here as prayer partners for the whole family of God. Excuse me, I need a drink, I'm really thirsty. I want to share with you, if I may, I just got a deja vu 
not to read from the book, but just to read what's in front of me <clears throat> from the late Father John O'Donoghue, one of Ireland's great Celtic mystics. If you've never heard of him, Google John O'Donoghue. He has written extensively on Celtic spirituality and his poetry. It's just heartwarming. And here's one from his beautiful book, To Bless the Space Between Us. And if you want to know how to spell Donoghue, it's D-O-N-O-H-U-E, John O'Donoghue. I arise today in the name of silence, womb of the world, sorry, womb of the word, in the name of stillness, home of the belonging, in the name of solitude, of the soul and the earth. I arise today blessed by all things, wings of breath, delight of eyes, wonder of whisper, intimacy of touch, eternity of soul, urgency of thought, miracle of health, embrace of God. May I live this day compassionate of heart, clear in word, gracious in awareness, courageous in thought, and generous in love. Those words are so powerful and so beautiful. To live this day compassionate of heart, Gracious in awareness, clear in word, courageous in thought, and generous in love. Aren't they beautiful? So let us come to our book of hymns, <clears throat> Sing Your Faith. And we read this evening, uh, this morning, hymn number 157, The Flame of Truth, and flame of love. The flame of truth and flame of love, we need both you and I. The one will show us how to go, the other will tell us why. Sorry about that. My fingers slipped. Forgive me. <clears throat> when first this flame of light was lit above the great abyss, the truth became a garden fair, and love became a kiss. The earth before the altar kneeled, and heaven with her stood, for God and light had made them one, and said that all was good. I bear the flame of truth and love, now as I walk along, I hold it forth in words and deeds, and fan it with a song. This borrowed torch of truth and love, in light, sorry, the light of liberty, I want to pass it on to you <clears throat> as, as it was passed to me. And that's by D. Elwyn Davies, who crossed over in 1997. Beautiful words. And from Psalms now, a modern version of the Psalms by the Reverend Leslie Brent. And earlier on, I was given to read and share with you Psalm 68. We long for when God will take over our cities, when wickedness shall be suppressed and selfishness subdued, when people will begin to care for one another. There will be clean air to breathe and pure water to drink, there will be better schools for the young, hospitals for all who are ill, the jobs for those who seek them. Everyone will feel needed and loved in such a city. The child, the labourer, the executive, the senior citizen. There will be dignity and freedom and equal rights, whatever one's ethnic or economic backgrounds. There will be homes to live in and parks to play in. There will be libraries and theatres and halls of learning. There will be a place for everyone to live and work and learn and rest and play. 
and people will have time for one another. Oh, how we will praise God in such a city. Our voices will join in great chorus of celebration. We will daily offer up thanksgiving to our God who rules over our city and everyone will have time for one another. But God does not rule over our cities. Our streets are pregnant with crime. The poor and dispossessed packed into ghettos. Our schools are overcrowded and inadequate. We choke on the air we breathe. We stumble over our own litter and waste. We neglect the old and ignore the young. We rush pell-mell from pillar to post, and no one cares for one another. You seek, O oh God, to rule over our cities. You have given us the pure air and green hills and great forests and clean rivers. You have showered upon us your abundant gifts and all that we need to make our city splendid. And you have given us your love and the responsibilities to care for one another. This has been our great failing, O God. We have sucked to our individual bosoms the gifts of your love, but we have never really learned how to care for one another. You have rebuked us for our selfishness, O Lord. We are smothering in the waste of our self-centered living. Deliver us, O God, Restore to us those cities in which you dwell and teach us our loving God how to care for one another. That is one of the nicest heart-touching psalms that I have ever read. And maybe it's time that we just sit in contemplation and just together visualize this amazing cathedral of God, the landscape, and this perfect city that God has created for us. But where have we gone wrong? We're all guilty in some way or another. So let us sit quietly with our hands resting on our knees and just take a deep breath and as we breathe in, let us breathe in God's love. And in our out breath, we release gratitude to God. And in the stillness, let us just allow our heart become open to God's amazing love. And whatever comes up for you, honor it, bless it, and release it. I'm going to begin this quiet reflection with just little mantras that are coming to my heart. Lord Jesus, we love you. Lord Jesus, we bless you. Lord Jesus, we rely upon you today. O oh Lord, you are our God. We praise you. O oh Lord, you are our God and we love you. Jesus, you are the Christ, the Son of God. Be merciful to me, a sinner. Lord Jesus, without you, life is not worth living. Lord Jesus, you are Alpha and Omega. You are my beginning and you are my end. Lord, you are the Christ. You are the Son of God. Be merciful to all of us here. Be merciful. 
Be merciful, O oh God. And with every in-breath we take in, we are mindful that we were called by name, called by God, and that we are a child of God, and that we are loved more than we could ever imagine or realize. So we say, Lord God, we truly do love you. Lord God, we are so in love with you, our heart aches when we see your children defy you. Forgive us, Lord. Lord Jesus, you are the way for us. You are the truth for us. And you are the life for us. We come in your name to celebrate our love for you. Our Father, Mother God, we praise you. Our Father, Mother God, we adore you. Our Father, Mother God, thank you for breathing your spirit into our being and for nurturing your spirit within us, for giving us new life and a purpose for living in this world that has become a godless world where so many have forgotten that you are in control, that you are the creator. Forgive us. We praise you, Lord. We praise your name. And as we sit quietly in the presence of Jesus, we allow him now to just touch our heart and to fill our heart with his love, to give you and me today the strength to face another day with renewed hope, to spite what the media are saying, to keep us centered on your truth and not on hearsay. Lord Jesus, you have called us into service to be your hands and feet and your beating heart. Encourage us today not to give up, but to soldier on regardless, regardless of how we're feeling Lord Jesus, we praise you. Lord Jesus, we love you. For without you, life is meaningless. Life is not living unless we are living with you. So now, dear Lord, we bring to your mystical heart the members of our family who may have lost their way. We bring to you today our own community and remember especially those who have left us. We pray for them as we pray for our brothers and sisters who this day last week made their commitment to follow you as postulants, as oblates, and as junior professed monastics. Give to them, Lord, your insatiable love and your courage never to give in to those negative voices 
from the Antichrist. Protect them, Lord. And we bring to you now, Lord, our own true self. We bring to you what's hurting us, maybe our own discouragements, the times when we felt flat, the times when we really struggled because of health issues. Lord, we bring to you today our spiritual needs and we thank you for filling us to overflowing with your love. So let us now for a moment bring to Jesus Christ, the Son of God, whatever may be heavy on our heart. It may be ourself, it may be a member of our family, it may be someone we love who is hurting, or it may be someone who has deeply hurt us. Let us be still now and share with the beloved. Praise you, Lord. We praise your name. I bring to you today our dear brother Rob, <clears throat> who's stuck in traffic on the M6 as he makes his way down to police headquarters in Lancashire, in Preston, in his capacity as their chaplain. I bring to you the members of our community who are unwell and struggling. I bring to you Sister Mary in Michigan, who sent us a picture of our dear husband, Mike, with all the cardiac leads on his chest, where they've been telling him for quite a while that he, his heart was failing by 80%. But through prayer and Sister Mary's prayer life and all our prayers the good news is that he's having a miracle where now the heart is working 80 percent better so we say lord thank you thank you for blessing dear mike sister mary's husband in michigan for sister sandra and despite her own disabilities her love of you is without question. And for her little pal, Ellie, we thank you for protecting dear Sandy in East Texas. For Grace, who's joined us on Facebook, that you continue to bless Grace. And maybe one day she may be given the call by you to come and join our Franciscan family from our home and just be another prayer partner for peace. For Sister Sue and her son James, who's going through a, a bad patch at the moment, considering he's done so well with beating his depression. For her brother John, that surgery goes okay for him. And for dear Sister Jan, for the amazing work her family does for adults with special needs there on their farm. But we pray for her dear brother Lawrence, that treatment will go well and that Lawrence will have a complete recovery and return home well to his family. And we pray this morning for another request that came in day before for Rita Pullmans, who needs a hip replacement but is anxious. She's asking for the grace to surrender to God and Mother Earth, for she wants to work with Mother Earth. We pray this morning for our dear brother Harry and his family. We pray for brother Cadge and sister Paula, his wife, 
and the amazing work that Paula does with children with special needs in Finland. And we pray for all our brothers and sisters, for Brother Paul, who lives with us, who's a Buddhist monk, who's on retreat at Sami Ling, the Buddhist monastery, one of His Holiness the Dalai Lama's monasteries in Scotland. We pray for our dear brother Paul and for his, his, his partner, his former partner, Jackie, who's not doing too well with alcohol again. But we pray for all of us here that we are given the courage today to rise up and celebrate what God has already done for us. And for those who've wronged us, instead of wallowing in the hurt and the pain, let us bless it and release it to God now. I pray this morning for peace in this beautiful world. I pray for King John Un in North Korea, that Michael the Archangel will block him from doing any further damage to the rest of the world. Though he's threatened us all with a nuclear bomb, we know that God will not permit such an atrocity through prayer. So we pray for peace and for President Trump that he acts responsibly, representing all his children in America, representing a good people, and that he will develop his diplomatic skills and be the instigator of peace, not war. For all our politicians and for what's happening in Spain, with the Catalans wanting independence. We pray for a favorable outcome. We pray for our religious leaders, for Queen Elizabeth, head of the Anglican Church, that the Lord God will give her strength today. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for His Holiness, the Dalai Lama and Thich Nhat And for all the men and women of different beliefs who've dedicated their lives to the source, to the God of many names and none. We pray. We pray for dear Dalen, who's joined us. We pray for Dalen and her spiritual journey and for all her loved ones. And we give thanks to God for being able to use the internet wisely for the glory of God here on Facebook and on our live stream channel that we can come together crossing time zones to say to our God, thank you. Thank you for your love, for your abundance in our life and for your promise that when we call on you, you will come, you will hear us. Lord, we praise your name and it is you that we glorify in our daily living. For there is no one like you and no one can be like you because you are all love. You are the personification of love. Help each of us here to represent you wisely today, to be your hands and your feet and your beating heart, and to bring love into this beautiful world, the Cathedral of God. Let us be still, and let us listen for the voice of the Beloved speak to us now. Let us hear the voice of God. And now I 
would like you to join me for a, an, a different version of the Lord's Prayer that we haven't shared for a while. Our God, you are everywhere, infinite, eternal, and unknowable. Yet we call upon you and give you a sacred name. Your will brings everything into being, the multiverse and all dimensions, and it is by your grace that we live. You see us as whole and perfect. We pray that we learn forgiveness so that we can see others as whole and perfect too. Guide us to understand that wealth and power are illusions. And as we dwell in the world of duality, let us discern and eschew evil, for you are beyond duality. You are our only duality, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So be it. And our closing prayer comes from the little book of Celtic prayers for my own. So let us see what we have for Wednesday. Another beautiful Celtic blessing. Bless to me, O God, my soul that comes from on high. Bless to me, O God, my body that is of earth. Bless to me, O God, excuse me, each thing my eye sees, each sound my ear hears. Bless to me, O God, each scent that goes to my nostrils, each taste that goes to my lips, each ray that guides my way. Amen. And as I blow out this flame, we thank our Father Mother God of many names and none for blessing all of us here and for drawing many more to come and be willing to be prayer partners for peace. Amen. So go in peace to love and to serve our God. Namaste, shalom, inshallah, hak set bonum, om shanti, solo di caritas, salam alaikum, and may the peace and the love and the joy and the compassion of a loving God be in your heart at this hour and throughout this day. Amen. So, Sister Sandy, I wish you a blessed continuation of your sleep, bearing in mind it's just gone 3.30 in the morning in East Texas. Bless your amazing heart. And for the rest of us, I wish you all a really good day, despite the weather. Take care. And God bless you and thank you for being our prayer partners for unity and peace. Amen.